Welcome beautiful people to my village life in a city series. My name is Sianoki and guess what? We've moved from our former place which is just about five minutes away. But what I love about this place is our backyard. The fact that it has some sand which is not only inspiring me to grow some crops but to do this. I gathered a number of blocks. Three of them. I just found them around, put them together and then I got some trees as well and some wood from you know some of the renovation work that has been done so I'm going to use that as my firewood I've seen this done a number of times but this is the first time I am doing this myself traditionally from where I come from Somania we call this latte you know let me know how you call this in your language I'll be very happy to know so there were some wood shavings from again some of the renovations so i'm going to use that to light the fire how exciting is this guys <laughs> struggled a bit with you know switching on the fire can count the number of matchsticks that i used before i finally got this lighted but honestly i'm so happy about this idea because there are times that i cook in bulk you know when i make my tomato sauce i feel like i can do my shito here some things that may take a lot of gas or you want a well ventilated area this is what i will be doing every now and then and i'm just super super happy about it and i'm happy to share with you hoping that well they will may inspire someone to <laughs> also you know if you have some well ventilated area in your backyard why not? <laughs> the first video I'll be sharing in this village in a city life is assorted pepper sauce. I'm using all kinds of pepper to make my chili sauce and I'm using some pakushito and green scotch bonnet pepper, some red scotch bonnet pepper. Is this orange or yellow? <laughs> one of them okay so some red bell pepper in there if you watched my trip to the market i mentioned that this was locally planted that's how come it's small and it's really affordable so i'm just washing taking off all the stock and then i'll cut the red and um, the bell peppers red and green bell peppers and i'll take out all the seeds in them Next thing I'll do is to blend some spring onion, some ginger, garlic, and onions. I'll blend this with oil. While I was preparing the veggies, I prepared something on this fire that I'll be sharing with you later. But now onto my fire goes in my pan. And um, I did this when the sun was setting about 5 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. because I didn't want the sun to be so high. And also at this time, I realized that the house flies will not come around to disturb me. So it was such a great time to do this. I poured my oil, some mint leaves and um, basil, and then I'm adding some bay leaves to this if you've ever watched my you know sauces before you know that i try to infuse my oil with you know beautiful spices before um, i start the process so this is what i'm doing and i've also added some spring onion cinnamon sticks that is star anise that broke into pieces that i just added some black peppercorns if you are using this in your main kitchen you may want to cover this because the black peppercorns do um, pop out a lot and it may hurt you but yeah advantage of doing this outside he also added some cloves so once these green you know leaves um, um, which is the um, the spring onions and the other green ones turn brown this day um, this way or you hear that uh, the black peppercorns have stopped popping it means you are good to go so I'm just going to take out all of this from the oil and it will leave my oil infused with all these beautiful flavors ideally when I'm doing the kitchen I'll probably strain this but was getting late girl was getting tired at this point <laughs> so i got as much as i could out of this and then i'm proceeding with the next one which is adding all the veggies that i had blended earlier okay so that is the spring onions the pepper the sorry the spring onions the garlic the ginger and then i'm just and the onion itself i'm just frying this 
for some few minutes so while this was doing i'll just probably go back to the kitchen and then blend the rest of my veggies that are or the peppers that i'll be using for this recipe which is the peppers that you saw earlier when i was washing you know yeah them so what i wasn't noticed was i felt like oh maybe just a small firewood would do this but no i had to be adding some to increase the fire so i guess this is how you increase the the the, the fire when it comes to this if once it's going down if you want to increase it you just add some more firewood or as the firewood is burning it's sort of like you have to push it back aha uh -huh, for it to light hey yeah <laughs> guys <laughs> um this this actually enjoyed doing this i would like to you i was so close to it that i ended up smelling so much of smoke maybe next time i was just so happy so watching it and just looking at it that was what happened to me anyway so <laughs> i'll be staring this from time to time and then maybe after some few minutes i'm going to add in the blended you know peppers and then basically this is it we just continue frying this and i used oil just so you know i used oil to blend all this stuff because i i need the oil as well i use the oil from so many recipes so i use the oil to blend it and this will actually reduce the cooking time for your pepper so at this point i'll just be staring from time to time because i'll be keeping this on my counter i won't keep this in the fridge so i want to fry this to the point where it can last on my shelf and while we are this if you're enjoying this exploit of mine hey guys just give me a thumbs up you know <laughs> And do join the family if you haven't. I'll be very happy to have you on board as we go on this journey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God. So I this thing I do is to add in some seasoning cube and salt to this. And this goes with so many dishes, guys. You have no idea. You can have it with rice. You can add it to your stew. The days you are feeling lazy to, you know, cut your ginger, your pepper, your onion, your you cut some tomatoes. Just add some of this to your stew. You can use this oil to fry egg. Use it for your stir fries. And it's just amazing. The flavors that are happening here. And I'm happy I'm doing this at this time because the place is cool, well ventilated, no house flies around. <laughs> So I guess yeah. Will I do this again? Oh yes, absolutely. This is not going to be like my everyday life, but every now and then when I want to prepare stuff like my sauces, my sheets, or things that takes a longer time to cook, or things that I want a well ventilated like outside of my kitchen, this is where you find me. And once it cooked completely, I store them in my jar and I got about two of these, but as of the time I was editing these guys, <laughs> one was already gone. Yeah. So <laughs> basically that's it. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Stay blessed. Mwah.